Hello, everyone. I want to present some helpful tips that can help people with some relief loans or grants assistance at this time that might be very much in need for many kinds of businesses here in our region. So uh, I want to start with the SBA. I'm going to leave a link down below so you can go to that disaster loan assistance through the SBA and you can read more about it. It's apparently about a three-step process to fill out an application to see if you can qualify to get assistance from the SBA. Um, and more in particular, since we are a company in Montgomery County, and as of yesterday, um, when the, the governor of Maryland closed all non-essential businesses, that means our company as well had to shut its office, and you know we're all working from home. I'm working from home today. And so um, I want to get out some helpful tips right in Maryland. Since we're headquartered in Montgomery County, uh, that's where the majority of our clients are, although we do work in D.C. and Northern Virginia as well. But uh, most of our clients are right here in Montgomery County. So if you're a local business executive or a business owner here, this can be very helpful information to you. You, you might have gotten an email, as I did, from uh, Montgomery County Economic Development. But uh, Maryland itself has established what it looks like four – got a little uh, sheet here I printed out from the email. There's a $75 million uh, uh, loan fund created – um, for profit businesses, so I guess it's not nonprofits in this case. It's called the Maryland Small Business COVID-19 Emergency Relief Loan Fund. That's one. The second is called the Maryland Small Business COVID-19 Emergency Relief Grant Fund. And this is a $50 million grant program for businesses and nonprofits. The third one is called the Maryland COVID-19 Emergency Relief Manufacturing Fund. This is a $5 million geared towards uh, the manufacturers of personal protective equipment, PPE, that is urgently needed now by hospitals and uh, healthcare workers. So that's the three. Then there's a fourth one called the Maryland Layoff Aversion Fund. Now, this is a $7 million COVID-19 layoff aversion fund that's been created to provide immediate relief to those in need from the Maryland Department of Labor. So I'm going to leave a link to those four. Uh, programs also in the in the description below and as more information comes out day to day um, that could provide real help for companies i i want to invite you to go to the comments below and either read them or maybe add information if you find out of, of another source to help businesses get back on their feet at this time feel free to leave it in the comments below uh, I, I believe more will come out uh, that can help all of us small businesses and medium-sized, all businesses of all sizes. But in any event, uh, lastly, I want to state that uh, I have been in commercial real estate, specifically in office of medical leasing, since 1997. So I have seen some major ups and downs during that time and worked with all kinds of clients, especially right here in Montgomery County, Maryland, uh, to make the wise real estate decisions to get them back on their feet and making sure their businesses stay viable. I have already been contacted by clients asking, what do I do? I, I'm, you know, my rent, how do I approach my landlord? I have been through this many times with clients before. And I, I'm, I wanna assure you that Rossi Commercial Real Estate is a resource for you. If you're a local business owner or an executive at a company here locally, I want to emphasize that we can be a great resource for you coming into this next year as business, when we will get past this, we'll all get past this together, but there's going to be uh, real pain to endure for businesses, especially small businesses that may have had to lay off people and then need to rehire them, or even are just struggling to stay in business, regardless of the assistance and help or loans or grants that may be available. Some companies are going to really struggle, maybe have to shut down. Now, I want to help companies stay in business because the second largest expense they typically have is their real estate, you know, and uh, the employees being number one expense. And if we can help you save significantly in your office rent or other kind of commercial space, then we, we might be helping you save jobs. And if you save jobs as a business owner, then you're being more productive because you need the workers to be productive. So we want to really help businesses. And I've done it many times in the past, and we're going to do it again. If you're a small or medium-sized business or nonprofit here or a medical practice here in Montgomery County, you're our number one client, and we're going to look out for you, and we're going to try to help you negotiate the best deal. If you go to one of the national firms for that kind of help, understand who their number one client has always been and will always be. They're going to try their hardest to help their large institutional landlords recover and have a healthier bottom line through this mess. 
I want to have you have a healthier bottom line. If you're a small local business, if you're a tenant here in Montgomery County, I want you to clearly understand the difference of who is serving who. We work for you and we help you save on your office space or retail or, or uh, medical space or otherwise, uh, you know, in, in industrial space as well. So we're here for you. We're going to be here for you in the coming year as a lot of important decisions are made about your commercial real estate space. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.